you're back. I'm back working on my kitchen. Since you guys are here, I figured I might as well show you what I'm working on now. Let me bring you in closer. All right, that's better. So I got my kitchen all laid out here and uh, I have a peninsula going this way. I searched on YouTube trying to find somebody showing how to run my wiring and outlets into the peninsula because by code you need outlets certain distances. I'll post those on the screen. But uh, I couldn't find a great video on how to do that so I'm just going to do it myself. Okay so let's start over here at the wall. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is power to run into your your base cabinets to get the outlets wired in. Um, so if you don't have power, obviously you're going to need to pull it off of another outlet. And then you need a pigtail, which is this little guy right here. Uh, so if you're before the drywall stage, in the framing stage, and you're running your electrical, make sure you just leave one of these out. You need to know your layout in order to get that correct. We have a couple different outlet box types. This one is a narrow profile, so it will fit in, you know, where you have these drawers at. This one is a uh, new work box. It's got the little tabs on it, so it can go in easily. You can use that in a box where you have more space, like this one. So a couple of options there. I think we're ready, so let's get started. A few things you want to take into consideration with my wire here, you know, this is a dead space. Nobody's going to see this, so I don't care what happens right here. But then I need to get the wire into my first base cabinet. And I'm going to take it this way and then around the back side over to the end here. So what I need to look at here, I have a drawer and I have a door. Obviously, I don't want to bring the wire in down here low because somebody will see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this drawer out and I'm going to run the wire right, as, right alongside the drawer and nobody's going to know it will be there once the countertop is in place. pigtail make sure you leave enough that it will reach at least your closest outlet for me I'm actually gonna add a box right here for an outlet as well so this pigtail will give me plenty of room and then I can just run another wire to the next one but if you're not gonna have one close to the wall your wire needs to reach as far as the closest outlet
Okay, so let me make sure you know where we're at now. We have our pigtail stapled in. Comes into the base cabinet right here, just below the level of the drawer. And then it's stapled along the side, just below that rail. And I left a little loop and it comes into the box. So our next step is gonna be add our next piece of wire that's gonna go from this box down to the box on the end of the peninsula. Okay, so we need to keep in mind that we're going to have to drill a hole between these two cabinets and same thing here until we get to the end. Make sure you double check in your cabinets. You know, this is a, a pull out trash can, but that's all the way in. So we got plenty of space to run our wire back here. These drawers here, that's as far as they go. So again, plenty of space. And then over here, we're going to have to deal with the, uh, a little bit more of a tighter fit, uh, to, to get the wire in here, but, uh, we'll make it work. guys so this outlet is done it's ready so we have our hot coming in and then we have our uh, load wire the the one that continues on going down to the end so all we got to do is worry about our outlet over here on the end so let's go get that figured out Okay, so we got our box. I just centered it on this cabinet and uh, I dropped it down, I think two or three inches or something. Just gotta remember there'll be a little overhang for the countertop, so you don't want it right up against the top. With this box, you don't have to worry about where it goes at. It fits between the drawer slides and the cabinet, any spot you put it. And also with our wire, as you're gonna see here in a second, we can just run it right up over the top of this and then down into the box. So that won't be an issue. Let's get that wire ran and we'll be done with this project. All right guys, we are done. So let me walk you through that real quick to recap. We had our pigtail coming out of the wall into the first base cabinet, running below the drawer, just below the drawer and into our first box. Again, you may not have another box here, that's okay, just keep running your wire. Uh, but you can add as many outlets as you want in this whole peninsula or island. So into the first box, that's right here, and then we have our second wire coming back behind all the drawers over into our second box right there. Everything is all stapled so the wire is nice and secure. And we are ready to 
put in our outlets. So that's it, pretty simple job really. Um, I used a few more tools than I thought I would initially. I had a screwdriver, some wire cutters. I used the level, the hammer for the, for the wire staples. Um, but pretty basic tools that anybody should have. If not, they're cheap to buy. So I'm not gonna show you actually how to wire up the outlets in this video, that's a pretty simple task. You can search on YouTube for hundreds of videos for wiring an outlet. It's very simple. Uh, my purpose here was just to show you how to run the wires and get them into the boxes in your cabinets. Now, one question I know I'm gonna get, uh, some of you may be trying to do this job when your countertops are already in place. Mine was easy because I don't have any countertops. Um, it's honestly still pretty easy if you have your countertops, you would just take out your drawers and do it from inside. Same thing. Uh, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, the biggest issue, of course, is making sure you have your electrical coming from the wall. All right, you guys, I appreciate your support. Stay tuned for the next one. Mm -hmm.